Guys, welcome to July's monthly pickups video. This really is one of them quality over quantity type months. Honestly, I've got some absolute bangers to show you and the last ones cost me, well for me, it's a bit of a small fortune. It's one of them games that, you know, unarguably changed the world. Uh, most people that were gaming at the time owned it. Everybody knows someone that owned it and you know the vast majority of us unfortunately got rid of it. So stick around to see what that one is. It cost me a bomb. Uh, but in the meantime, let's kick this off with a console that I bought from Derby. Um, I went back to the mobile games exchange um, and picked up this lovely white Sony PSP for 70 quid. It wants a little bit of a clean up, but you know, I've got a black one, but the white one looks absolutely great. And this is going to be going on display over on a shelf over in that direction that you guys will see when I actually get round to doing my full retro games room tour. Trust me, guys, it's coming. Just got a few more bits to deal with in the room before then. But yeah, they chucked in this case with it. So for 70 quid, a nice white Sony PSP. Right, next up is something a little bit different. Now, that's the advanced Dungeons and Dragons for the Intellivision. Now I've not got an Intellivision, but this was a fiver. And I do like Dungeons and Dragons sort of merch. I just think that D&D stuff's really cool. I like the whole fantasy genre in general. So yeah, that artwork there looks great. Um, the gameplay on the back looks, well, let's just say simple, shall we? It looks incredibly simple especially by today's standards. But yeah, it opens up like that, which is pretty cool. There's the cartridge, pretty, pretty basic. We have the advanced Dungeons and Dragons cartridge instructions there. But this is my personal favorite, um, is this particular manual here. Look how excited all these extremely 80s people are about playing this. <laughs> I just think that's fantastic. Look, how great is that? Anyway, yes, yeah, so that's uh, the AD&D for the Intellivision. So that's definitely a unique one to have on display. So yeah, chuffed to bits to have that one. Now, I'm gonna go God of War on you guys for a little bit because the next three things are, uh, it's all God of War stuff. Only one game though, so I'm dedicating this to my friend Mike, who you'll have seen in last uh, my last video in Liverpool, the CEX pickup. So Mike, these ones, well they're not actually for you, but I'm dedicating these pickups for you, bud. And that's God of War Chains of Olympus for the PSP. Not played this one. Comes highly recommended by the gentleman that I'm dedicating them to. So yeah, for the PSP inside, we have the UMD and the instruction manual now. It's not in impeccable condition. I think with a bit of a wipe over, it'll look a little bit better than it does. But yeah, uh, I am pleased with that. Very pleased to have God of War, Chains of Olympus on the PSP. Right, okay, now we have this. The elastic band went up there somewhere. Now, as you can see, I've got some framed posters here and I'll be doing the exact same thing with this one. So we have the PS Vita's God of War collection poster. Hopefully I've got all of that in the frame. If not, guys, I am sorry. But yeah, as you know, I've actually picked up this only last month, the actual PS Vita God of War collection. So I'm pleased to have that and I'm looking forward to getting that one in a frame. So yeah, a bit of a poster there. That'll be awesome to have on the wall. Do like my God of War stuff. This one is an extra special pickup because this was three pounds from a charity shop. And I have never ever picked anything up so fast from a charity shop in all my life. And that's this absolute beast of a statue. Now I'm assuming guys, I'm assuming that this was the collector's edition bonus for God of War 3. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm right. I really don't know. I've not done any research, but I'd rather you guys tell me. Is this from God of War 3? I'm making the assumption it is. But yeah, three quid from a charity shop, guys. I literally snatched that up. Dead chuffed with that. 
That's so cool. So yeah, Kratos. So that's uh, the God of War segment over. Oh, sorry. <laughs> dropping him now. Um, so I did say I'd spend quite a lot of money on this next pickup. In actual fact, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I spent £130. Um, but I did mention before, it's one of them games that definitely changed the world. Um, everybody knows something about Pokemon Red for the Game Boy. You know, it was really important for me to get this one back into my collection as quickly as possible. The other one that I feel the exact same way about is the original gold-covered version of uh, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy 2. But this is one of them. And I'm really, really pleased to get Pokemon Red back. Now, I want to say it's immaculate. It's actually not. There's a slight dink in this bottom corner here. Which, of course, bugs me. But not that much. I'm really, 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 really pleased to have this one back. Now let's open it up because it could have been a while before, since, sorry, could have been a while since any of you guys opened up a copy of Pokemon Red for yourself. So here we go. Now, first of all, we have the game, the cartridge, which, you know, has come in this little plastic protector, which it won't have originally, but I was never going to say no to that. So there's that. The obligatory Game Boy pamphlet here that come with every single game that ever come out on the Game Boy. This very nostalgic um, advert for other Game Boy games. So obviously we're at the Game Boy Colour at this point. Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. There we go. Link's Awakening DX. That's not actually the version I want. I want the uh, the original version, the non-Game Boy Color version. But yeah, there's that. And then for the N64 um, on the back, which, you know, welcome to the future. Hmm. Literally, back to the future, isn't it? Banjo-Kazooie, Ocarina of Time. Very, very colorful little leaflet there advertising stuff that was coming out back then. And then, of course, the uh, the trainer's guide aka the instruction manual which is really thick it's really beefy and i always thought that even back in the day charizard at the bottom corner there we go there's the world map so yeah that's the uh pokemon red trainer's guide guys i'm really 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 pleased to have that one back in the collection i know it cost me a lot of money but it's done now i have it and uh, absolutely no regrets whatsoever. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. They were my pickups for July 2022. Guys, if you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. I do this every month. I've got more video game retro shop tours coming out. I've got another charity shop tour. There's always CEX videos coming out. Guys, consider whacking like. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you again next week for another video. Cheers, guys. Later.